The island of Java. Tropical jewel in the midst of the Indian Ocean. Conscientiously administrated by meticulous Dutch bureaucracy. The year is 1870, and the colony is undergoing a transformation. Recently, individuals have been allowed to lease farmland and manage plantations. The fertile land offers ideal conditions for exporting a multitude of colonial goods. Off on the way to an exotic experience. The Dutch East Indies. Surely the most exemplary colonial empire under the sun. With luscious fruits and cheap labor in abundance. You act on behalf of the colonial administration. A gifted talent in the art of engineering, you have been appointed to modernize the local transport sector. Complete this task to the satisfaction of the crown. If you do, even the post as governor might be in store for you. Transport is a much sought after service on this scarcely civilized island. Eating draft animals such as oxen is punishable by law. That's why the colonial administration has commissioned you to build a railroad so that the plantation business prospers. The delicious coffee is supposed to be transported from the fertile hinterlands to the facility near town for processing. Anyone set on building wisely and cheaply avoids unnecessary slopes. Perform the necessary surveying work. Build a route from a thriving plantation across treacherous terrain to the processing factory where the coffee fruit is husked. A depot is needed. Purchase a complete train, including locomotive and freight cars. The coffee fruit can now be brought from the plantations on its way to further processing.
What a superb railway. It provides the local plantation leaseholders with truly valuable services. Still fresh from the fields, the fruit quickly reaches the factory. From there, the colony's delightful coffee must be brought to the warehouses and offices in the port for export. That shouldn't be left up to the local laborers, no way. Too easygoing, too inefficient, too unreliable. Specially built stations are called for so that the first-rate coffee makes it into town undamaged. If need be, stations that can be guarded against plundering hordes. Ready to go. Nothing stands in the way of speedy transportation to the local seaport anymore. Send the freight cars of coffee on their way. The factory now finds itself in a laudable position by sending processed coffee into town. To experience considerable growth, its products have to reach a clientele with money to spend. Oh no! Lucas, the capable engineer on your locomotive, seems to have vanished from the face of the earth. Or anywhere else for that matter. Time to find a stand-in. Right away! Would one of the natives be able to meet this difficult challenge? Several locals show an interest in learning the decidedly noble profession as locomotive engineer. A practice route for training purposes is needed. Meanwhile, certain signs are feeding horrible rumors about the indigenous tribe's diet. The correct way to drive the vehicle must be practiced first, so that potential passengers are not scared off right away. In the meantime, some hard-to-digest news reaches you. Your skilled worker is said to have fallen victim to a bloodthirsty tribe of cannibals. news. The locomotive engineer has returned safe and sound. While you pictured him in the stomachs of savages, he was having the time of his life in the virgin forest. Naturally, you can't tolerate misconduct like that and regretfully have to fire the good man. 
Thanks to your reliable deliveries, the factory is working far above par, although it would certainly be capable of processing much more virtually colossal capacities of coffee. You should weigh the idea of increasing the transport volume, because coffee from the colony is a commodity in great demand in parlors and salons on the continent. One train isn't enough to adequately supply the factory with coffee fruit. A passing siding is needed so that a second train can use the line. The trains should wait for each other on the passing side. This requires placing signals. If the plant is to be used to its fullest capacity, another complete train is needed. Wherever coffee production thrives, business and prosperity flourish too. Thanks to the railroad, the port town of Surabaya has become a lively trading centre for countless goods and services. All kinds of people from all corners of the island want to do profitable business here. And that's why the colonial administration has commissioned you with setting up a passenger line from Semarang to Surabaya. Time to build a line which will soon link the key trading hubs in eastern Java. The railroad has been completed. Curiosity runs high. Time will tell if passenger transportation really is a venture that's worthwhile. A formidable enterprise like yours calls for a suitably first-rate branch office. After all, you're not just anybody. Build a prestigious residence that is unrivaled in the whole island.
truly attractive estate, but a veritable plague is spoiling all the fun. Snakes have occupied the building. Rumor has it that a wise old woman knows how you can rid yourself of the snakes in your walls. She's supposed to be in Surabaya. The old woman says she doesn't know a thing, but you should try your luck with her cousin in Semarang, who has a knack for the art of snake charming. The snake charmer declared that you've probably angered the mighty snake goddess with your projects. The snake priestess of Mount Merapi is the only one who could remedy the situation. The priestess has spoken. The only way she is willing to call off her children is if you make a sacrifice to the great snake goddess. Coffee, the priestess prophesied, will be the sure thing to appease the goddess.
What a godsend. Your stylish residence is pleasantly snake-free again. Uh-oh, it's rumbling in the island's interior. The mighty volcano Merapi threatens to erupt. A phenomenon like this wasn't reckoned with while planning the route. The natives claim that someone has probably angered one of their gods. Whatever the case, if the precious coffee fruit is supposed to be transported by rail in the future too, then it's imperative that something be done. It seems worthwhile to remove the infrastructure if it's not supposed to be buried under ashes and lava. To enable coffee production to continue making progress in future, the route ought to be relocated to an area where it can be assumed that the expected eruptions will leave it intact.
The danger has been averted. And transport can be resumed. What's more, the volcano is showing signs of coming down again. Despite that, maybe relocating the route was still a wise move. The fertile island has a lot more to offer than coffee. The widow of a friendly grower, may the poor devil rest in peace, has been planting sugar cane lately. Make the lady happy by providing her with your services. The sugar must be transported to town. From there it is shipped and then served when continental Europeans get together for coffee.
traffic is flowing full steam ahead. The plantation business is developing magnificently. In light of all this success, the incumbent governor is thinking of moving back to his Dutch homeland in good time. Thanks to your outstanding work, you have a good chance of inheriting his post. Sugar rattles toward town quickly by train. What a pleasure. <laughs>